Do you happen to turn on airplane mode while Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or NFC is enabled? Then you've probably run into that annoying issue where turning on airplane mode automatically disables these settings and you have to manually turn them back on. For example, let's say you're getting on a plane and you have your Bluetooth headphones or other Bluetooth accessory, speaker, smartwatch connected to your phone. You then decide to pop your phone into airplane mode and damn it, everything connected via Bluetooth disconnects. At that point, you have to turn Bluetooth back on manually, annoying obviously, but what if there's a way you can just make it such that hitting the airplane mode toggle didn't turn off Bluetooth or really any other radio that you didn't want to turn off? Well, luckily for you, there is a way to do this and it doesn't require root. All you will need is a computer, your phone, which must have at least Jellybean 4.2.1 or above. I'm doing this on the latest version of Marshmallow and a USB cable. Also, make sure you have ADB installed on your computer. I'll leave that link down below if you want to see an easy tutorial on how to install it. Once you have that installed, we will also need to enable USB debugging on your phone. Just go to the settings, about phone, at the bottom tap on build number seven times to enable developer options, and then toggle USB debugging within developer options. Now before we begin executing commands, just keep in mind that I'm going to demo this on Windows 10, so if you have a Mac or Linux, some of these steps will be slightly different, but it's still the same method. First, connect your phone to your computer. Next, navigate to your ADB folder. Within this folder, hold down the shift key and right click anywhere to open up a menu. Click on open command window here. Within the command window, type in ADB devices to make sure that ADB can communicate with your phone. Now, most of the newer devices will ask you to authorize that computer for ADB access if you haven't already used it previously. Once authorized, if you don't see a serial number attached to the list of devices, you either installed ADB incorrectly or you don't have USB debugging enabled. So go back and do these steps all over again. Try to see if you can fix it. By the way, all of these commands will be in the description so you can copy and paste them into CMD. So let's check to see what radios are being toggled when enabling airplane mode. So type in the following command and then hit enter. If you need to pause the video, then go ahead and do so. If you received an error, enter this command instead. Now you will either see a list of radios or this command. Either one works. Here's where your preference comes into play. Basically, if you don't want one of these radios to be disabled when turning on airplane mode, you will need to remove it from this list. So in my case, I don't want airplane mode to disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So I will type in the following command. If you happen to receive an error, type this command instead. Just so you know, in the executed command, I have shortened the list of radios that airplane mode can disable. That's all I really did. Now disconnect the device and reboot your phone. Now turning on airplane mode won't disable the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but it will disable my cellular network and NFC, just like I asked it to. Before I move on, definitely check out and download the Amazon App Store by visiting amazon.com slash underground. You can use Amazon coins to buy apps, games, and in-app items, which you can save up to 25%. Let's say you're playing Gummy Drop and you want to buy the money bags. You can purchase this item with 499 Amazon coins, allowing you to save 24 cents. To buy coins, just go to the hamburger menu and choose Amazon coins. Check out the links in the description to find out more. Now back to the video. If for whatever reason you like to revert back to airplane mode, disabling all of your radios, then you can execute either one of these commands in ADB. Once you execute those commands, make sure to reboot your device. In result, that's how you modify what radios airplane mode can or cannot disable. Please use this responsibly. Even though it's unlikely that this procedure will damage your phone, you never know what could happen. So be careful. If you did every step in this video, but it still doesn't work, then unfortunately, you will need to continue to toggle the settings manually. That's it for this tutorial. Make sure to smack that thumbs up button if you found this video to be useful. Check out andrewpolice.com for your latest and greatest news on Android, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay fresh.